So this is gonna be a pretty straightforward build. Um, if you take a look at the model that I've made for this, you can see that there's two platforms and then there's this little cutout in the back. And the reason for that is one, the client wanted both the washer and the dryer at different heights. And two, the cutout in the back is because there's an existing pipe back there. So we had to kind of work around it. So yeah, I've got this all modeled up and I'm just gonna start pulling dimensions from this model, cutting the two by fours down to size and then just start assembling this thing. So enough talking, let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna start with the easy side over here. And if we take away this top piece, you can see that we've just got some two by fours. So this one is two and a half feet. I need two of those pieces. And this one is two foot three, and I need three of those. Make it a double. Two foot three. All right, so I've got the holes pre-drilled. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of glue in between those two pieces and then drive in some screws and we should be good to go. Now I just gotta do that to the rest of the joints. Flip it around, do the same thing. All right, next we're gonna start cutting these lugs. So the outer ones are 11 and three quarters of an inch and the inner legs are going to be one foot three and a quarter. Actually, you probably don't wanna watch me cut all these. So let's skip ahead. All right, so each leg is gonna be made from two pieces. So one inside there and then this other one. I'm going to join them with some screws and some wood glue. But I want this whole assembly to be flush on this side and this side. So. What I gotta do on this inside piece is mark that out and then set it up on the edge here and find where it's gonna be flush and then make a little mark right there. And now I can just take a square and mark out this corner right here. And this is where I need to cut that area out. All right, so I've got this cut out and that just sits right there really nicely. And then I can paste this other little leg piece in front of it. Again, I'm gonna use some wood glue and some screws to make this like one solid piece. So let's assemble this. So just put a bunch of wood glue in there. And I'm going to actually put it in place. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I can take it off here and I can drive some screws in. And I drove those screws in from the inside so that you can't see them from the outside. All right, so this leg's assembled. Let's tackle the other three. All right, so I went ahead and I pre-drilled three holes one on this side and two on this side. And then I'm gonna put some wood glue on here and just attach these lugs like that. Tight corner. Gotta use this right angled attachment. All right, so we've got this first side complete minus the plywood top. Now it's time to move on to the other side. And the other side's not gonna be quite as straightforward as this simple square was, but essentially I'm gonna be using the same techniques to put it all together, just cutting a bunch of pieces and putting them together. So I'm not gonna bore you with showing you a bunch of the same techniques. So here's a little montage.
With the frame assembled, I can move on to cutting the plywood to size. For this, I'm using 3 quarter inch plywood and I'm using my table saw and my circular saw to cut it to rough size. And then I can put it in place, mark out where that little cutout in the back of this is, and then use my jigsaw to cut that cutout out. <laughs> All right, so I've got all the plywood pieces cut to size and the way that I'm going about this build is in two sections. So this section and this section. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I connected these two together, I did not put any glue in between this joint. And the reason for that is in case this is too big to haul downstairs in one piece, I still have the option to disconnect these two and then haul them downstairs separately. And then once they're downstairs, I can connect them again, maybe throw a little bit of glue in between that joint and we're good to go. But at least this way, it still gives me that option that I can disconnect them and haul them downstairs separately. So with that being the case, I'm gonna connect this piece of plywood to this first section right here. And then I'm gonna connect this side piece and then this top piece to this section over here and not tie them together. All right, so let me show you. And to attach the plywood to the rest of the frame, I'm using a bunch of wood glue and then brad nails to hold it in place while that wood glue dries. And then after that, I use some wood filler to fill in the screw head holes and any other gaps or seams where two pieces of wood came together just to make everything nice and flush. Then I came back with my trim router and trimmed all the plywood flush to the frame and then finished up with sanding everything nice and smooth. Then with everything smooth, I came back with some trim pieces and kind of framed out each one of the pedestals. It just kind of gives it a little bit more of a finished look and it also keeps the washer and dryer in place should they start to shake and kind of move to the edge, they won't fall off these platforms completely. And with the trim in place, I could give this whole assembly three coats of paint. And finally, to account for any unevenness that may be in the floor that this is gonna sit on, I added some leveling feet to each one of the legs. And with that, this project's complete. I'm really happy with how this turned out and I know the clients were as well. And just in case you were wondering, we did not have to disassemble it to get it down the stairs. If you guys enjoyed this video, it would be awesome if you could hit that like button down below. That just tells YouTube that this was a decent video and maybe it should pass it on to some other people to watch. And while you're down there, if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button as well. Only if I've earned it. That way you're notified anytime I release a new video. And until next time, thanks for watching.